watch our show. Infectious disease experts yesterday urged the public not to take the threat of COVID-19 lightly, especially people with pre-existing conditions, as early treatment could save lives. As domestic cases are increasing at a rapid speed on a daily basis, the Ministry of Health and Welfare predicted that the local outbreak has not reached the peak. The Infectious Diseases Society of Taiwan and Infectious Control Society of Taiwan have issued a joint statement providing context to the outbreak. The Omicron variant of SARS-CoV-2 has been associated globally with low hospitalization and death rates. However, people who are infected could suffer from long COVID, which is a condition characterized by long-term consequences persisting or appearing after COVID-19. Long COVID symptoms could include extreme tiredness, shortness of breath, chest pain, or brain fog, which could lead to memory problems, a lack of mental clarity, and an inability to focus. After battling outbreaks for years, the vast majority of people in other countries have developed antibodies after either recovering from COVID or receiving vaccinations. Taiwan has not had a large-scale COVID outbreak before this year, posing greater danger to the unvaccinated and susceptible population. The statement said, urging people not to underestimate the threats, even if the majority cases are mild. Considered at risk are people older than 65 and those with certain pre-existing conditions. Pregnancy is also a risk factor, as well as conditions and substances that affect the immune system, such as prolonged use of steroids or other immunosuppressants, he added. It is important that at-risk people receive early treatment to prevent serious symptoms developing. Oral antivirals are readily available, but the key is to take advantage of the golden window for treatment within five days of the onset of symptoms. If notified as a cold contact or presenting symptoms, it is suggested by the government with that we follow our three by three strategy. First, in the plan are three hallmark prevention measures. Wear a mask, wash hands, and maintain physical distances from others. The next three are tools that actively combat the virus, vaccination, testing, and treatment. Omicron is a highly transmissible and short incubation period of one to three days. As the number of confirmed cases rises, a certain number of survey cases and deaths are to be expected, even if the mass majority are minor. Therefore, do not delay treatment by succumbing the myth that Omicron only causes minor illness. Medication is a useful weapon to reduce severe symptoms in high-risk groups, but foregoing vaccination or early testing would be like giving up the chance to avoid serious illness. Anyone presenting symptoms or this at a contact should take a rapid test. He said, adding that early detection means the chance for early treatment if a survey case develops. I'm Della Chen, and I'm Julie Chen, your favorite anchors from Wigan News 5. Stay tuned for our show for the latest news. Remember, max up, wash your hands, and stay safe.